party shook up the midterm elections, helping Republicans regain control of the House. But just who are those Tea Party freshmen and what's on their agenda? With Senator Jenkins out on the road to find out. As you have already heard, the Tea Party movement began at the grassroots level with folks upset over what they saw happening in Washington. They held protests and rallies in an effort to rein in government spending, oppose any new taxation, and repeal the new health care law. In the process, they defeated Democrats and Republicans alike in elections across the country. And they did it all the while without any real leaders until now. For the most part, I think there's some misunderstanding what the Tea Party is. All the Tea Party is is what we used to call the old Reagan coalition, what we all used to call the, the silent majority. It's just people that, for the most part, are not typically involved in politics, and they just got fed up with the way things are being done here in Washington, D.C. Raul Labrador is a Republican congressman from the 1st District of Idaho. He was out spent 6-1 to one in his election, but won by 10 points, much of which he attributes to the Tea Party. What we have noticed here with the young freshmen is that the leadership is listening to us. We initially, as soon as we got here, the leadership started having these listening tours where they would talk to us and, and they would explain to us some of the things that they were trying to accomplish here in Washington, D.C. I'll be honest, for the most part, I think they thought they were going to convince us that their way was the better way, that we were trying to move things too fast. But I have to give the leadership a lot of credit. When they started hearing from most of us, that we weren't cutting enough, that we weren't going fast enough, then they changed the budget and they changed the, the CR and they allowed us to, to bring the influence that we were bringing from the grassroots over here to Washington. I think the biggest impact that we're having has to do with the fact that all Tea Partiers want is less intrusion by the federal government into their lives. Senator Mike Lee is the junior senator from the state of Utah. His upset victory in the Republican primary against long-serving Robert Bennett was seen as one of the earliest victories of the Tea Party movement. What they want is a recognition by the federal government that was never intended to be all things to all people. It certainly wasn't intended to tell us uh, about very personal decisions, like where to go to the doctor and how to pay for it. When folks in the media write, Mike Lee is a Tea Party senator, you're a Republican senator from Utah. How do you take it with that label? Is that a dangerous label? Is it important? No, I don't think it's a dangerous label at all. It's simply a recognition of the fact that I am a Republican and I identify with those who sympathize with the Tea Party movement. I identify with the Tea Party movement. Uh, and, you know, really what the Tea Party movement is, it's not a party. It's not any political organization. It has no single leader or identifiable group of leaders. It is simply that uh, sort of nickname that has been given to a much broader movement of Americans who have recognized the federal government's gotten too big and too expensive. Do you see the influence of the Tea Party movement here in Washington growing with issues coming down the pike? And if so, you know, what are they? What are we likely to maybe see? Yeah, look, the, the influence of this movement uh, to restrain Washington, to restrain what Congress is doing, is going to accelerate. And some will call that part of the Tea Party movement. Others will just call it a call for good government. Uh, but that's going to continue to accelerate between now and, and 2012. And I think what happens in 2012 is going to make what happened in 2010 look like a Sunday picnic. Alan West, a combat decorated veteran, is the Republican congressman from the 22nd District in Florida. He ran twice, losing the first time in 2008, but winning the second time last year with 9% of the vote in Tea Party support. Now that the Tea Party movement has got guys on the ground in Washington, do you see them trying to take over portions of the Republican Party, or is it different that they're just trying to have a toll, if you will, on the issues in the legislation? I don't think it's uh, about taking over anything. I think it's about being a, an impact player. I think it is about uh, making sure that those principles that we talk about, the principles that I talked about at the CPAC speech, you know, once again become married back to the Republican Party because, you know, that's what brought the Republican Party into, uh, into control of both houses back in 1994. They had a message. They had a vision. They had an outlook. But uh, 12 years later, I mean, they have so far gotten off the reservation, if you want to put it that way, that they were rejected by the American people. So I see uh, an opportunity. Uh, it, it's not a complete marriage right now. Uh, it's kind of a courtship that is going on. 
But if we can hold fast, if we can continue to, to stand upon the principles that the American people want and uh, turn this ship around, then by 2012, I mean, it gets even better. We become even more united. And then from 2012 on, uh, I think you're going to see an incredible resurgence of the Republican Party. I think you're going to see a, a new style of leadership here in this country that really is visionary. More